Can you describe something from your childhood that inspires your jewellery making? I've attended a lot of family weddings and in the family weddings there was just beautiful jewellery that was given to the bride as well as um, you know everyone wore the jewellery so I loved it mm -hmm. at that time. Mm -hmm. What is it about creating jewellery that you love the most? And I'm never really too sure what it's going to look like in the end. I start with a concept and it seems to just grow and I get very deeply involved in making it and uh, what emerges is something that's quite beautiful. What's your process for selecting the stones that you use? I look at the stones that I have and I usually have a selection of most semi-precious stones and um, I just put it into combination with uh, according to color and um, I've been told that the combinations that I pick are sometimes very effective psychically. So I never realized that I was doing that mm -hmm. but have now got into looking at what stones I can uh, use that would benefit the individual who wears the piece. Mm. How did you feel when you first saw your grandfather's necklace in the exhibition? It was really very emotional for me. It wasn't so much the beauty of the necklace or the extravagance of the necklace, but the fact that I was actually looking at a necklace that belonged to the family in San Francisco, which is halfway across the world. And I really wish that my mother was there. Yeah. So um, I was delighted. I was actually very awed and very delighted to have a photograph taken with the necklace. 